Welcome back. They're gaming apps meant for fun, but they also come with risks. Yeah, children and teenagers can become targets, especially through the chat features. Tonight, Local 4 Defender Karen Drew reveals some of the apps parents should have on their radar and an easy way for parents to monitor two dozen different platforms popular with children. He hasn't found his place in this world and he's just vulnerable. A frantic father's search. I'm looking for my son. <laughs> A missing teen lured from Alabama to Houston by someone he met online. It's a gaming app that kids use usually to play games, but uh, but there's a chat room app on there. In upstate New York, 18-year-old Bianca Devins was murdered by someone she befriended online. Something erupted and he slashed her throat. He nearly decapitated this young, beautiful girl. Two separate cases, both linked to the gaming app Discord. Jennifer Homan's sons are gamers and active on Discord, which is a free voice, video, and text app for teens 13 and up. Discord is the, has the ability for them to have like a chat room while they're playing live in their games, as well as um, pass information back and forth, share strategies or moves in the game. But Homan knows there is a danger to this app, which allows teens to communicate with strangers from all over the world. You just don't know who's behind that gaming handle or that, you know, that avatar. And it's not just gaming apps or popular social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat that parents should be aware of. Safety experts tell Local 4 kids are more than likely using apps their parents have never heard of before. 4chan, Discord, Telenem, they're all mainstream for our kids with millions and mil millions of users. 4chan allows users to anonymously post images. It is like the, a Pinterest gone wild. Inappropriate language, inappropriate memes, inappropriate photos. Telenim boasts 10 million monthly users and allows users to anonymously ask questions to strangers. Think about in five minutes what your child can be exposed to on a platform like that. Jennifer says she and her husband are always within earshot when their son's game. I am looking for the conversations going on in that chat. Uh, inappropriate words, uh, talking about girls. She also recommends warning your child about online predators posing as friends. If you have not met a human being in person, they're not your friend yet. I think parents forget how many millions of people are out there and even, you know, just kind of supervising and watching isn't enough. Katie McPherson educates parents about digital safety all over the country. Her advice is to take advantage of apps designed to help you monitor what your child is doing. They tell you everything you want to know. They block access, they grant access, they read deleted texts, and um, they give you how much usage, how long they've been on a platform. They give you pretty much everything you want to know. She and others say Bark is the most comprehensive. It lets parents track their child's online activity on 24 different social apps and apply filters which alert them to inappropriate activities in real time. It will ping you if that that type of language is coming across your child's social media platform. Other apps to consider? Our Pact, Custodio, Web Watcher, and remember, you're doing this with your children. I'm a huge fan of no surprises that this is a, a tandem effort and that we're in this together. The Alabama teen was found safe and is back home. More advice for parents. Do your research. Know what apps are out there that they could be using and check what your kids are doing and saying on those apps. And a big one for our expert, no devices in their bedrooms at night. I'm Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders.